Hey there everybody, welcome back to JT's Barefoot Outdoor Adventures. Today after a little bit of internet research I'm doing a couple of tests on things that may be able to absorb the impact and allow me to practice with this crossbow in the backyard. First off, I've got uh, some phone books. I'm going to try just shooting straight through one and then uh, shooting into the pages of uh, a couple of them. And then the other thing uh, that looked like it might actually be of some use is filling uh, an old feed bag with old cloth. So we've got a couple of sleeping bags that we will never ever use again and um, some dog food bags. So I'm going to try stuffing one of those sleeping bags into a dog food bag and we'll see how it does as well. So we might as well uh, just get started shooting some stuff. Yeah, yeah. So first up, we're just gonna try shooting into the front surface of this 2007 phone book. And uh, we'll see how that goes. So this first shot will be from approximately 10 yards away, 10 full paces anyway. So pretty darn close to 10 yards. Now, I can't say that I see that. Time to do the hunt again. So here we can clearly see that it did in fact hit the phone book. Feeling with my hands, it definitely went all the way through the phone book. And that looks like the knock right there. So, the phone, a single phone book, and not an overly big one at that, did slow it down enough that I'm not retrieving it from the back of the shooting shed. Which is good, because I was prepared with a mallet, but I didn't want to have to do it. A single phone book is not going to cut it though. So let's try two and see if we get a better result. Oh, sorry about the wind, it's just been that kind of day. So here we have two slightly thicker versions, more like a standard city phone book. And uh, let's see if these guys will stop the crossbow bolt. So here we are shooting at two standard thickness city phone books from the same 10 yards away. And it looks like that is actually enough to stop it. All right. And then instead of trying the phone books on their sides and shooting into the paper like I was going to do, um, I still want to build a different type of arrow trap in the future. So. I will still be doing that, but I don't think I'm going to do it today. The wind is getting a little nuts, and the rain is setting in. So here we have an old beat-up sleeping bag. One of Bowser's food bags. Shoved it in there as best I can, and we'll shoot at this next. See if it's uh, any more resistant, or the bolt pulls out easier, or just what comes of that. So once again, and hopefully you can hear me above the wind, shooting from approximately 10 yards away into a sleeping bag and a dog food bag. Now it looks like that worked fairly well too. Examining the bag, didn't go all the way through, so therefore the sleeping bag was able to absorb a great deal of the impact and that sure pulls out nice and easy. I think we have a winner. A sleeping bag and a dog food bag will be my backyard crossbow target. Sweet. Thanks, internet full of stuff to research. Very cool. Well, there you go. And just that fast, I found, uh, well, alternatives to super expensive shooting targets. Some of these things were going to be like 300 bucks. I mean, yeah, sure, I don't have any sort of uh, proper vital zones or even an animal marked on there. I suppose I could shoot the dog on the dog food bag if I wanted, but that sends the wrong message. I can still print something out off the computer, tape it to the bag, and I'll be good to go. So. Really, a little bit of old cloth and uh, a decent sturdy sort of feed bag, dog food bag, cat food bag, whatever you're feeding, try their food bag. Seems to be a, a really simple, cheap, redneck, crossbow targeting solution. So, yeah, I'm going to plunk away a few more shots here before the rain comes in, but I'm going to put the camera away just in case it starts mid-shot. So thank you all for joining me. And I guess this has been video number 3 of 30 for the 30-30 challenge. Thanks, Rev. And, uh, yeah. I wonder what channel we'll be on tomorrow. Alright. Take care, and I will see you then. Bye.